Today, let's learn about Port Security, Switch Security Protocol. What is Port Security? By default, all interfaces on a Cisco switch are turned on. That means that an attacker could connect to your network through a wall socket and potentially threaten your network. If you know which devices will be connected to which ports, you can use the Cisco security feature called Port Security. How Port Security Works By using Port Security, a network administrator can associate specific MAC addresses with the interface, which can prevent an attacker to connect his device. This way you can restrict access to an interface so that only the authorized devices can use it. If an unauthorized device is connected, you can decide what action the switch will take, for example discarding the traffic and shutting down the port. To configure port security, three steps are required. 1. Define the interface as an access interface, by using the switch port mode access interface subcommand. 2. Enable port security by using the switch port port security interface subcommand. 3. Define which MAC addresses are allowed to send frames through this interface by using the switch port port security MAC address MAC underscore address interface subcommand or using the switch port port security MAC address sticky interface subcommand to dynamically learn the MAC address of the currently connected host. And two steps are optional. 1. Define what action the switch will take when receiving a frame from an unauthorized device by using the port security violation, protect, restrict, shutdown, interface subcommand. All three options discards the traffic from the unauthorized device. The restrict and shutdown options send a log messages when a violation occurs. Shutdown mode also shuts down the port. 2. Define the maximum number of MAC addresses that can be used on the port by using the switch port port security maximum number interface submod command. Port security benefits, 1. Allows for limiting the number of MAC addresses on a given port. 2. Packets that have a matching MAC address, secure packets, are forwarded, all other packets, unsecure packets, are restricted. 3. Enabled on a per port basis. 4. When locked, only packets with allowable MAC address will be forwarded. 5. Supports both dynamic and static. 6. Helps secure network by preventing unknown devices from forwarding packets. 7. When link goes down, all dynamically locked addresses are freed. 8. If a specific MAC address is to be set for a port, set the dynamic entries to zero, then only allow packets with a MAC address matching the MAC address in the static list. 9. Dynamically locked MAC addresses are aged out if another packet with that address is not seen within the age out time. The user can set the timeout value. 10. Dynamically locked MAC addresses are eligible to be learned by another port. The following example shows the configuration of port security on a Cisco switch. First, we need to enable port security and define which MAC addresses are allowed to send frames. Next. By using the show port security interface FA0-1 we can see that the switch has learned the MAC address of host A. By default, the maximum number of allowed MAC addresses are 1, so if we connect another host to the same port, the security violation will occur. Hope you learned something today. Subscribe our channel and click bell icon to get notification. Thank you.